friends, it's Mara Muski here again. Today's video looks a little different because today we are going to do something with our whole body. So I wanted you to be able to see me from super far away, all right? So first we have to come here and say hi so you can see my face. Today we're going to be doing our mezzo note again. So let's sing our song. You can, you can do it, the moves with me from over here. And then we're going to be doing some mezzo note stretches together. You ready? One, two, three, go. Let's say a bracha, let's say a bracha, before we start to chew. Let's say a bracha, let's say a bracha, show that you are a grateful Jew. Let's say a bracha, let's say a bracha, before we start to chew. Let's say a bracha, let's say a bracha, show that you are a grateful Jew. Ha moti mezono chahako ha adama and ha eats are meant to thank Hashem for all the food that he creates. Delivered from the east and west and from the north and south, right into your mouth. All right, guys, we talked about some of the mezono foods and we got all those pictures here. Remember these pictures? So, what we're going to do here today is let me actually move the camera a little bit. That's even better. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna try see if we can make some mizonote shapes or mizonote stretches with our bodies, all right? So if you're already standing up, great. If you're not, you might wanna stand up so you can have space to do this with us. Make sure you can move your arms and bend forward and backward without bumping into anybody. All right, so here's how we're gonna go. I'm gonna take one of our mizonote foods one at a time, then, I'm going to hang it up over here with some tape, all right? And then we're going to see if we can figure out how to make that shape with our body and do a kind of stretch also, all right? Let's try the cake one first. This is the cake. Take a close look at it so you can see it. It's going to be a little far away when we do the stretch. All right, cake is a mezzanote food, and it's super yummy too. All right, let's see if we can make a cake with our body. How about if we stretch out our arms really far in front of us and then put our fingers together? That can be a big round cake. And then maybe with our heads, we can shake on some sprinkles. Can you shake on some sprinkles? Shake, 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 shake. Get them all around. Uh-oh, we forgot to put on the frosting. All right, let's use our heads to spread out the frosting. Put the frosting on the side. And on the other side, all around. Move your head all around to get those frosting. All right, now let's put some more sprinkles on top because the other sprinkles got covered by the frosting, all right? Make sure your arms are all stretched out so it looks like a round cake. And let's shake on those sprinkles. Shake, 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 shake. All right, great. Give yourself a thumbs up. That was a fun time doing a cake stretch. Let's try another food, another mezzanote food. How about one that's a different shape? How about some pasta? Let's hang up that pasta. These are a noodle kind of pasta. There's lots of kinds of pasta. And let's hang this one up. See it? Let's see how we can make a pasta shape with our body. How about if we can put our hands on top of our head like this and be a long, straight piece of pasta. All right, can you do that? Pick up your hand and let's be as straight and tall as you can. Pick up your hands, be long, straight pasta. Now, you know what happens to pasta when you cook it? gets really soft. It's not so hard and stiff anymore. So let's pretend to do the pasta cooking and getting all soft. Ooh, that was fun. Let's do it again. Be a tall, straight piece of pasta, and now let's get softer as we cook. Ooh, cool. Okay, now let's pick another one. How about a cupcake? Ooh, how can we make a cupcake with our bodies? Let's see. Let's hang up our cupcake so we can see it. that one? Okay. Hmm. I wonder. Actually, you can't see it. Let's put it more over this way. Yeah, that's better. How can we make a cupcake with our bodies? Hmm. How about if our head is the frosting? We put our hands above our head like this. And this could be the wrapper, and this could be the cupcake part. How about that? Should we do that? All right. But first, let's jump into the wrapper part. Okay? Get our cupcake bodies, and 
Let's jump ourselves into the cupcake wrapper. Ready, set, go. Jump. Okay, good. Now, let's make sure we're all baked. Check, are we all baked? No, we need to go in the oven. Okay, let's go in the oven. Now, let's make sure all the warm air gets all around us. Ooh, it's really warm in this oven. Let's jump out. I think we're done. Ooh, okay, great. Now, let's put on some frosting all around ourselves. Zoop, 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 and make the little point on top. Here we are. We're a cupcake. Should we take a cupcake spin now that we're all ready? One, two, three, go. Delish. Okay. How about a cracker? How can we make ourselves like a cracker? Another Mezzanote food. Hmm. I wonder. Let's look at the cracker. The cracker, this one is round, but it doesn't have to be round. It could be rectangle or square or triangle. And it has this one has some little holes inside. Crackers are also super, super crunchy. Hmm. Let's see. You know what else I like about crackers? You can put lots of things onto them. You can make like a sandwich. Should we make a little cracker sandwich? Okay. Take out one hand, spread it all the way out. That's gonna be one cracker. Now let's spread your favorite topping on top, all right? I'm gonna put some cream cheese on, okay? Cream cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese. Maybe we even wanna put some locks on top of that. Spread it out, spread it out, spread it out. You can put your favorite topping. Maybe you wanna put jelly or hummus or um, what else could you put? Baba ganoush or peanut butter. So many yummy things, almond butter. Lots and lots and lots of options. All right, so you spread that on your cracker. You all ready? Okay, get the other cracker ready. It's gonna go on top. But this cracker is super, super, super high up. Stretch it out as far as you can. And on the count of three, let's put the other cracker on top of the first cracker so we can make a sandwich. One, two, three. Did you hear that? Okay, great. Now let's flip it over and do the other way. This is the first cracker. Spread out our spread. Make sure it's all covering the whole cracker. All right, now stretch out your other cracker all the way up as far as you can. And one, two, three. We made a cracker sandwich. Delish. Okay, how about some Cheerios? How can we make Cheerios with our body? Hmm, I have an idea. I wonder what your idea is. If you have a different idea than the stretch that I'm doing, then you can do your own idea too. And that would be fun as well. All right, let's hang up our Cheerios. All right, so for Cheerios, you know what I'm noticing in that Cheerio picture? There's lots and lots of little Cheerios. So how about if we make tiny, tiny Cheerios with our fingers and then we throw them into our mouths really fast. All right, you ready? Let's make the Baraka first. Baruch Ata Bore Mine Mizano. And let's make lots and lots of little Cheerios. All right, ready? Hey, we forgot the milk. Should we pour out the milk with our heads? All right, pour out the milk into your bowl of Cheerios and then we're gonna eat them also. Okay, ready, set, go. Psh, pouring all the milk in. Can you pour some more milk? Psh, here it is. Okay, now let's mix it up with the spoon. Zoom, 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 zoom. And now let's eat them all too. Mmm, delicious. All right, what else do we have over here? Mmm, now we have an Oreo cookie. That's a fun treat too. Okay, let's see if we can do some Oreo kind of stretches. Let's see if we can make our body look like an Oreo or like something about an Oreo. Mm. You know what I'm noticing with an Oreo? Oreos have some cream inside. It's kind of like a frosting, except that it's on the inside, in between the two cookies. There's one cookie, frosting, another cookie. Hey, that's kind of like the sandwich we just did, right? So, so let's see what we can do with an Oreo. Let's hang it up. See that? Over here. And let's take one hand, that will be the bottom Oreo. Then let's take the other hand, that will be the frosting. Then the other hand will be the other Oreo. And then we can flip it over and do it again. Let's see, like that. Frosting, Oreo, frosting, Oreo, frosting, Oreo. Let's make a super tall Oreo sandwich. All right, let's start all the way low down. Can you bend down and start your hands down like that? Okay, and then we'll stretch it up above our heads and see how high we can go. Ready, set, go. Oreo, frosting, 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 Woo! Oreo, frosting, Oreo, frosting. Let's eat it all. Delish. Okay, now.
this one is pancakes. So for this one, we already made a shape that's similar to the pancakes. So let's mix up the pancakes together, all right? So here's our pancakes. And let's see what we need to put inside our pancakes. So this over here will be our bowl. And we're going to reach up really high to get the ingredients. So reach up to get the flour. Psh, reach up to get the sugar. Psh, reach up to get the eggs. Psh, reach up to get the oil. Psh, and now let's, we put in sugar already? Sugar. Psh, and you want to put in some vanilla. Psh, or some baking soda or baking powder. Psh, or some eggs. Psh, or some chocolate chip. Psh. All right, now we're going to mix it with our hands. And then we're going to mix it with our feet. I don't know if you can see my feet. All right, so... You can just listen and see if you can hear my feet stomping, but I'll tell you what to do. Let's mix with our hands first. Zoom, 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 zoom. And now let's mix the five with the other hand. One, two, three, four, five. Now stomp your feet for ten to mix with those, all right? If you can't see my feet, listen if you can hear my feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, our pancake batter is all mixed. Let's put it, quickly put it in the frying pan. And now, let's see if we can get them out by flipping them over. Okay, hold on to the frying pan. We're going to throw it up and see if the pancakes will flip over. One, two, three. Oh, they did. Great. Now let's see if we can flip them right into our mouths. One, two, three. Eight. You caught it. Good job. All right. Only two more left. Here are some pretzels. Hey, I wonder how we can make our body like a pretzel. You know what's cool about pretzels? They're kind of all folded over over each other, right? So we see if we can twist our arms together like a pretzel. Twist your arm together like that. Or see if you can do it behind your back. Twist your arms together like that. Or see if you can stretch out your arms and then twist them back like that. Stretch out, twist back. This is cool because it's two kinds of pretzels. We can make stick pretzels with your hands. And then the folded over kind. Stick, folded over kind. All right, that's fun. Tamed up our pretzel. And lucky last, our last meso note food that we're going to do a stretch with is a cookie. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Here is our cookie. How can we make our bodies like a cookie? Hmm. Can you see that over there? How about over here? That's better. Okay, so how about if we first make ourselves like a little, little chocolate chip? So scratch down into a little, little chocolate chip, and then let's jump into the cookie batter. One, two, three, jump! Mmm, that was great. Okay, now let's make our hands on top of our head like a big, round cookie, all right? Remember with the cake, we made our hands out like that, like a big, round cake? This time, let's make a big, round cookie on top of our head. See how there's a circle over here? Like that. All right, here's our cookie. Now, let's make the bracha mezonot and eat our cookie up. Baruch ata boreni ne mezonot. Mmm, that was delicious. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a mezonot scavenger hunt. That means we're going to take our papers that we made yesterday with the pictures on it of all the things that we like, our mezonot foods that we like, and then we're gonna go see which ones we can find inside our house, all right? I'll see you soon. Hi friends, all right, so now we're gonna do our Mezzanote scavenger hunt. So get out your collage you made yesterday with all your favorite Mezzanote foods and your little stickers from the package that you got. If you need to pause the video and get your stuff, you can go and get them. All right, you ready? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around. You look in your house, I'm gonna look in my house. We're gonna see if we can find our favorite Mezzanote foods. All of the foods, that have flour in them, but they're not bread. Every time we find one of them, we're gonna take one of these stickers and we're gonna put it on top. And then afterwards, we'll see, we'll count how many we got. All right, you ready? You might need to look inside your closet or your cupboard or your pantry or your kitchen or your fridge, but in my house, some of the other people in my family hid them around the house, so we're gonna have a look around. All right, hmm, first I smell something. Don't put it in the oven. Should we see if it's a miso note food? Let's see, I gotta put these down so I can put on my oven mitts. Let's have a look what's happening in the oven. Come closer so you can see. What's in the oven? Wow, it's cookies. Let's turn them around actually so they can finish baking in the oven nicely. Mm -hmm. 
They're not ready yet, but they smell really good. Do you know what kind of cookies those are? That's peanut butter cookies. Hey, cookies are a Mizzonote food. That's something on my list. So let me get a sticker, put it right on top. We found something. All right, awesome. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking around here. I wonder if there's going to be anything else on our list. So we found cookies already. We're looking if we can find pancakes or pasta or crackers or pretzels. Can you tell me if you see anything? Let me look. Let me look. Hey, what's that? It's pretzels. We got it. Let's see what I look inside. That's a Mizzonote food. Hooray. Let me get out my sticker. We found another one. And that's two we found already. And hey, what's over here next to the pasta? I mean, next to the pretzels. It's pasta. Another one. Shall we hear the pasta? This is not ready to cook yet, to eat yet. We still need to cook it, but that's a Mizzonote food. Let me stick on that sticker. All right, let's keep on looking. We have a few more to find. Maybe we'll find both of those. Maybe we'll find none of them. Maybe we'll find another one of the other kind of foods we were looking for. Let's keep on going. Hey, what's this over here? These are saltine crackers. They're a salty kind. They look just like that. This is another Mizzonote food. They're made with flour and they are not bread, so they are Mizzonote. Let's stick it on. We found so many. I wonder if we're gonna find another one. Let's keep on looking. Keep on looking. Hey, what's this over here? More pasta. Let's put another sticker on the pasta one. And hmm, didn't find any pancakes yet. Let's keep on looking. Keep on looking. Keep on. Hey, another kind of pasta that is super cool. Let's hear this one too. This is a veggie pasta. It has a little bit of veggies inside it. That's cool too. All right, let's put one more sticker on the pasta. We found three kinds of pastas. All right, let's keep on looking. I don't know if we're going to find any more. Keep on looking. Keep on looking. Nope, that's it for our Mizzonote scavenger hunt. I wonder which ones you can find in your house. Bring them along tomorrow, and we're going to see when we do our Zoom class all together which ones you found inside your house. All right? I'll see you then.